Barrel nuts can be found in the wilderness that are used as a food source that replenish your health. You will need one barrel nut for researching and this will unlock the milestone in tier 1 that allows you to scan for barrel nuts using the object scanner. Barrel nuts can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier 1. The object scanner can be crafted in the equipment workbench and requires 4 reinforced steel plates, 3 beacons and 50 screws to craft. With the object scanner you are able to search for items such as food sources, power slugs, enemies and crash sites. Pale berries can be found in the wilderness and are used as a food source that replenishes your health. You will need one pale berry to research. Paleodiftia bread berries or pale berries can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier 1. This will unlock the ability in tier 1 to scan for pale berries using the object scanner. Bacon agaric or bacon flowers can be found in the wilderness and are used as a food source that replenishes your health. You will need one bacon flower to research the item. Amanita lardum or bacon agaric can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier 1. This will unlock the ability in tier 1 to scan for bacon flowers using the object scanner. Flower petals can be picked up off the ground or when picking up leaves and cutting down trees. You will need 10 flower petals for research purposes and this will unlock the color gun milestone in tier 2. R&D wishes me to tell you these colored petals are useful for two things, dating and creating color cartridges. Mandatory reminder that you are under 24-7 surveillance. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. Once unlocked, you can craft the color gun and color cartridges in the equipment workbench. Five steel plates, 80 screws and 40 wire to craft the gun and 25 flower petals per color cartridge with 50 bullets. Equip the gun in your hand slot to use it. This will enable you to paint your buildings and machines based on the custom color you select.
There are currently 86 crash sites that contain pods with scannable hard drives inside. And once scanned, will produce an alternate recipe for items produced in your factory. The crash sites may require specific items and sometimes need to be powered in order to retrieve the hard drive. You will have the option to scan one of three items per hard drive once scanned, so choose carefully. Here I chose the alternate recipe of screws. This recipe allows you to craft screws from metal ingots instead of first having the ingots be crafted into iron rods and then into screws. Green power slugs can be found all over the wilderness. It's much easier to see them at night or by using the object scanner. You will need one power slug for researching to unlock the milestone in tier 1. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fixit technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in hub tier 1. Once the milestone for the power shard has been unlocked, the slugs can be converted into power shards that can be used for overclocking machines to perform at more than 100% efficiency. Yellow power slugs can be found all over the wilderness. It's much easier to see them at night or by using the object scanner. You will need one power slug for researching to unlock the milestone in tier 2. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into two power shards that function with current fixit technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. Once the milestone for the power shard has been unlocked, the slugs can be converted into power shards that can be used for overclocking machines to perform at more than 100% efficiency. Purple power slugs can be found all over the wilderness and it's much easier to see them at night or by using the object scanner. You will need one slug for researching to unlock the milestone in tier 3. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into 5 power shards that function with current fixit technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 3. Once the milestone for the power shard has been unlocked, the slugs can be converted into power shards that can be used for overclocking machines to perform at more than 100% efficiency. One shard for green, two shards for yellow, and five shards for purple power slugs. To overclock a machine, simply place the power shard into the machine, and this will allow you to increase the power above 100% using the slider. This will not only increase the number of items that are output, but also increase the machine's power usage.
The alien carapace can be found from killing the fluffy-tailed hog or from the firefly bug's nest when destroyed. This item will need to be researched twice and the first time will require one alien carapace. Additional samples are required for R&D to continue developing a defense-oriented blueprint. The creature has been named Fakecoyerus Plumius Kata or Fluffy Tailed Hog. This will unlock the second request and requires 10 carapace pieces to be scanned. R&D has repurposed a common engineering tool to assist you in your defense against the local wildlife and provided an extra equipment slot. The blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 3. On completion of both tasks, you will unlock the Rebo Gun Milestone for Tier 3. The Rebo Gun is a single fire weapon that requires 6 reinforced steel plates 16 iron poles and 100 screws to crop. The ammunition for this gun is called spiked rebar and one ammo is made from one iron rod. I found that it takes 3 shots from the rebar gun to kill one fluffy tailed hog. Alien organs can be found from killing spitters and or spiders. You will need to research 5 alien organs to unlock the second alien organs research request that requires 10 items to be scanned. This will unlock a new milestone in tier 4 called the medical inhaler. This is the first of two milestones for crafting a medical inhaler, the first one being the Alien Organs Medical Inhaler. Both milestones for the inhaler will make the same item using different materials. The medical inhaler is used to restore full health to your character. Mycelia can be found in caves and resembles clusters of mushrooms. They also come in different colors and can be picked up by hand or with a chainsaw. This item also requires two scans, and the first scan requires five mycelia. This mycelia can be used to create fabrics. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Additionally, R&D has requested extra samples to determine the cause of an anomaly. This will unlock the fabric milestone for Tier 1. Fabric is crafted using 1 mycelia and 5 biomass of any type. You can also make biomass from mycelia. Fabric is used for crafting gas masks and its filters for poisonous areas as well as a hazmat suit for radiation zones. Fabric is also an item that needs to be scanned in the MAM scanner. The second mycelia upgrade requires 
20 items to be scanned and we'll unlock the second version of the medical inhaler in tier this 3. Type of mycelia has strong healing properties. R&D has created a blueprint you can access in hub tier 3. This version is made from berries, nuts, bacon flowers and mycelia and functions the same as the alien organs inhaler and will fully restore your health. Ten fabric are needed for research in the MAM scanner and will unlock the parachute milestone in tier 2. This fabric is suitable for the creation of parachutes. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. Ten fabric and five cables will craft five parachutes and the parachutes function exactly the way you would expect them to. When falling from a height, use the parachute and drift slowly towards safety, if you have it equipped. The parachute needs to be equipped in your body slot in order to use it. There are little nodes scattered throughout the panel that you can mine with your hand tool. Here we have Caterium Ore. You will need 25 Caterium Ore for research in the MAM scan and this will unlock the Caterium Ore milestone. New technologies have been developed based on this new element, primarily in power and electronics and can now be accessed in Hub Tier 3. This will give you the blueprints required for making Caterium ingots in the smelter and the blueprints for crafting basic Caterium products. Caterium acquisition unlocked additional to new equipment, building and parts utilizing basic Caterium properties. R&D insisted on inflating your pocket dimension. Quickwire is made from Caterium ingots and you will need 100 Quickwire for researching and once completed will unlock the Caterium Electronics milestone in tier 5. New technologies have been developed based on this new element primarily in power and electronics and can now be accessed in hub tier 5. A more specialized use of Caterium has been unlocked. Smart splitters and new advanced electronic parts are now available. Supercomputers are unlocked with the Caterium Electronics Milestone in Tier 5. And 10 of them will be needed for research in order to unlock 
the advanced Criterium Electronics milestone in tier 6. New technologies have been developed based on this new element, primarily in power and electronics, and can now be accessed in hub tier 6. This will give you access to the MK3 power pole, programmable splitter, as well as the ability to scan for and implement geothermal power. Increasingly advanced use of Caterium applied. Geothermal power sources can be found and used as a more stable supply of power. Programmable splitters with unlimited filters can be constructed along with improved power poles. Raw quartz nodes can be found scattered throughout the planet that you can mine with your hand tool. 25 raw quartz will be needed for researching and will unlock the explorer milestone for tier 4. This type of quartz possesses optimal piezoelectric properties and can be utilized to create oscillators and silicon which are used in a variety of appliances. A new milestone has been added to tier 4. Additional research required. This will give you access to scan for quartz nodes, blueprints for crafting quartz crystals and silica, a new vehicle called the Explorer, the map for the game and the crystal oscillator. Exploration based technology unlocked. Quartz based parts accessible along with a map of your Fixit approved designated zone in need of charting. The new vehicle is aimed at efficient travel speed and all terrain handling. The crafting of quartz crystals and silica will require two raw quartz and are key ingredients for crafting quartz crystals and aluminium. The crystal oscillator is crafted from quartz crystals, cables and reinforced steel plates and 15 are required to be researched in the MAM scanner. These particular quartz based crystal oscillators are optimal for limited radar technology. R&D has provided a new milestone in Tier 5 with a derived building. This will unlock the Radar Technology milestone in Tier 5 and once unlocked will give you access to build the Radar Tower. Radar Technology unlocked. The radar tower automatically charts and updates the map of your Fixit approved designated zone in a radius dependent on its height. Initial charting takes a variable amount of time. The radar technology milestone consists of the radar tower and once placed and powered will uncover portions of the map that have not yet been explored over a period of time.
Sulfur nodes can be found scattered throughout the planet that you can mine with your hand. 25 sulfur will be needed for researching and will unlock the explosive milestone in tier 4. Percentage of sulfur in compounds is acceptable and can be extracted safely to create gunpowder based explosives. The derived milestone can be found in tier 4. Further research required for more precise use. This will unlock the blueprints for black powder, aka gunpowder, the nobilisk bomb, and the detonator. Sulfur can now be used to craft nobilisks. A remote detonator can be made in the equipment workshop. In anticipation for carrying explosives, R&D has inflated your pocket dimension and added an additional equipment slot. Note, close proximity of detonation is likely to result in suboptimal performance. The black powder resource is used as an ingredient in creating nobilisk bombs. A nobilisk bomb requires 5 black powder and steel pipes as well as one beacon to craft and will require the nobilisk detonator in order to trigger the explosive. These can be used to blow up boulders, rocks, trees and enemies. You will need 5 Nobilisk Bombs for researching in the MAM scanner. You have shown adequate restraint concerning explosives. I have weighed the danger levels of this planet against your chance of survival. Conclusion, a new milestone is now accessible in Tier 5. This will unlock the Rifle milestone in Tier 5 that provides the blueprints for the rifle and its cartridges or ammo. These items can be crafted in the equipment workbench. Rifles can now be crafted at the workbench. They require cartridges to function. I am now obligated to inform you of fixed rifle policies. Note, aim the barrel away from your body. It is the part with the hole in it. Note, assume all alien life is hostile. Note, R&D's Ballistics Lab has a recommended music playlist on Fixit servers. The rifle requires 25 steel pipes, 3 heavy modular frames, 20 circuit boards and 250 screws. The cartridges require 1 Nobilisk and 4 steel pipes to craft 4 cartridges or bullets. The rifle must be placed in the hand slot in order to use it and has a magazine capacity of 10. Sam ore nodes can be found scattered throughout the planet that you can mine with your hand tool as well as nodes that can be mined with a miner. There is no use for this in the game at the moment. And you can only mine this material in limited quantities. Other honorable mentions for items include the Mercer Sphere and summer sleep. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much. Bye now.